Larry Coach 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 Larry Co
was kind of a jack of all trades. He did so much for us, and we need him. You, you saw Matt today get a steal and get a dunk, hit a three, you know, the different ways he scored. He was our leading scorer today. So he's our leading scorer. He's our, uh, let's see where he was at rebounds. He's our second leading rebounder. Yeah. We'll go at four, he had five. But we only had 37, the opponent had 39, so we got out-rebounded again. But we're at our best when we defend and rebound. Coach, I was wondering, speaking of rebounding with Omir leading the team, how important was it for him to be out of foul trouble as he had no concern today? <laughs> you can't imagine how much sleep I lose because I worry about him being in foul trouble. He, he is such a phenomenal player. And when he's playing freely and he's not fouling, he's not on the bench, He's just a, a, a huge contributor in every facet of the game. You see him handling the ball now on fast breaks, giving it up. You, you, you see him helping on ball screens. You, you see him posting up. You see him on the offensive boards. You see him hit a little pull-up jump shot. His last basket was like a 12-foot shot. Now, all of those things, he's, he's a very hard guy to guard. He sets terrific screens. And uh, that helps his teammates get open. So, in the first half, you guys, you know, on some runs, and you guys have a couple of droughts. The second half, real consistent. Just what do you think was the biggest difference between that first half and the second half? Kind of well, actually, I thought the bench really got us the league. I thought Keyshawn George and Christian Watson uh, and AJ Casey, when they were in there, I thought they won their their round. You know, I always talk about this is like a prize fight, ten rounds, four minutes at a time. Every TV timeout is round. So they won their round, and that got us the lead, and we were able to just maintain it. We never really pushed completely ahead. It was like a six-point game much of the second half, but we never lost the lead. How do you find guys who look at something other than the last column of the stash and say that's what makes me a good player? Like you said, the job Bensley did was huge for you guys. I hope they don't look at the last column. You know, basketball is such a team game. It's so different than football. Football, you got an offensive team, you got a defensive team. In basketball, you got to do both. And the balance is so difficult for a player. And so half the game, if you 40 minute game, half the game, you're on defense. That's 20 minutes. What are you doing for the team to help the team win when you don't have the ball? And on offense, even the guy that has the ball the most out of 20 minutes only has it three or four minutes. So the game is really played without the ball. And you got to find guys who are willing to play without the ball. Um, we were trying to run a number of things for, for Wooga Poplar today. And he had a uh, he was four for eight, one for four from three. He only had nine points. So I hope that that he realizes I helped the team win. I did things. I got four rebounds. Uh, the uh, Wooga is that the, that no Nigel had seven assists. So that's an additional maybe fourteen to twenty one points, depending on whether they were two or threes. So there's so many different ways to contribute. Defense, rebounding, assist, steals, block shots, helping, playing good team defense. Coach, kind of seven games in, kind of the first quarter of the season, just what have you been pleased about with this team? I know defense and rebounding kind of things you want to see improve, but what have you been pleased about with these guys? Well, I think uh, the first thing is what a fun group they are to be around. They're really good people. They work really hard. I love that they're sharing the ball very well. We've only had one game where we, where we really didn't share it. You know, today we had had only 12 assists and 13 turnovers. That's got to change. All right, we need to get 16, 18, 20 assists every game. Um, but we've been sharing it very well. I thought we shared it today pretty well. We, we missed some pretty good shots for us. You know, Jim Beheim's doing TV today. I don't know for who. ESPN? CW. Who is it? CW. Oh, CW. So he's, do, he's doing t, uh, TV today. 
I told CW, I'm not ever doing TV Be because I can't travel by myself. I love being with a team. But with Bayheim, Coach K, Roy Williams out, out of the league now, um, it changes because there's a lot of youthful enthusiasm in the coaching right now. The league with, with uh, John Shire, with Micah Shrewsbury, um, uh, uh, with Damon, Damon Stoudemire, uh, Kenny Payne, new guys who, who, who bring a whole different personality to the league. And the, the league needs uh, youthful enthusiasm because people are acting like the ACC is down. And to, to me, we just played a league that's supposed to be being great, the SEC, and we went seven and seven. All right, two of their uh, top twenty ranked teams we beat, and I, I think they were both on, on. Were they both on the road? Clemson won at Alabama, and uh, no, uh, Georgia Tech beat Mississippi at home. But I mean, people would have thought, like I said. Oh, Mississippi State will beat Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech is one of the bottom teams, and Mississippi State's in the top 20. No, you got to play the game. And if you're not familiar with the opponent, you're not familiar with their personnel, you're not familiar with their defenses, and your players have to adjust. And uh, it's hard to do that in a 48-hour period. Like, you know, you're introducing your players to it. That's why, why league play is so difficult. Everybody knows each other so well. I, I know you already talked about the bench a little bit. I want to ask specifically about Christian Watson. It seems like he's really got a handle on the past couple of games. Just what do you think of his recent performances, and then what are some of the different ways that he's been able to you know, be impactful and contribute? Yeah. Uh, he, he, he went uh, two for four, one for two, got five points. He, uh, he had uh, one rebound, but it was taken out of his hands by somebody on our team, so he didn't get credit for that. But I think, no, actually, I think he got one, but it's not on the stat sheet. Um, I think being, being a sub is the hardest job in basketball. I don't care what level you're at. Because you don't know when you're going to go in. You don't know when you're going to come out. You have no idea how many minutes you're going to get, how many shots you're going to get, and how, you don't even know how you can truly contribute in the amount of time you're given. So to, to play well, you, you've got to be special. You, you have to have the mindset of so many players that I've had that were great sixth men, seventh men. Bensley Joseph, last two years, he'd come in off the bench, and he knew his role was to just dog the dribbler, just put great pressure on the ball. And he did it so well, he earned a ton of playing time. All right? Guys who can do that come in off the bench and find a way to contribute. All of them want to contribute offensively. They want to score. But if you're sub, you're not going to get 10 shots. They're used to getting 20 from high school. You, you might get two or three shots, and you've got to be efficient. you got to make. If you take three, you've got to make two. Why? Well, because that's what we're counting on, for you to come in and give us a, a lift for a short period of time. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice weekend.